hardware and software. A computer is more than just the physical parts that you can see and feel. The entire components of a computer can be divided into hardware and software. Hardware The physical components or parts of a computer that you can see, touch and feel are known as hardware. So, keyboard, monitor, CPU and printer are examples of hardware components of a computer. Computer hardware can be further divided into input devices, processing device and output devices. Input devices Devices that are used to input data and instructions into the computer are known as input devices. These devices help us in communication with the computer. Keyboard and mouse are two of the most commonly used input devices. Other examples of input devices are scanner, microphone, joystick, webcam, etc. Processing device A device that processes the data given by the user is known as processing device or processor. Central processing unit or CPU is the main processing device in a computer system. Central processing unit receives the data or input given by the user, processes the data and generates the output. It also controls all the other parts of the computer and their functions. This is why CPU is called the brain of the computer because it does all the processing and makes the decisions for the computer system. CPU along with other parts is enclosed inside CPU cabinet. It has three parts, arithmetic logical unit or ALU, control unit or CU and memory unit or MU. ALU performs mathematical calculations and thus comparisons. CU controls the data flow of data and MU is used for storage of data and information. Storage devices are used to store data and information. Computer memory can be divided into primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory is called the main memory or storage of the computer. Primary storage is found inside the computer. There are two types of primary memory. Random access memory, also called RAM, and read-only memory or ROM. RAM Random access memory is volatile or temporary memory. All data in RAM gets erased when power supply goes off. It is a fast memory. ROM Read-only memory is non-volatile or permanent memory. Data is stored permanently in this memory. Secondary memory Secondary memory is called auxiliary memory. A secondary storage has a larger storage capacity and is used for storing data permanently. Examples of secondary memory are hard disk, flash drive, SD card, CD-ROM, DVD, floppy, etc. Hard disk. Hard disk is the main permanent storage device of a computer. It is an internal storage device. It can be divided into many parts known as drives. Floppy. Floppy is an old external storage device. It stores very small amount of data so we don't use it anymore. Flash drive Flash drive is also known as pen drive as it looks like a small pen. It is very popular as it can store a large amount of data like movies, games, music, etc. and also be carried around in your pocket. CD and DVD CD stands for compact disc. It is circular in shape. It can be used to store data, music and games. DVD stands for Digital Video Disc 
or digital versatile disk. It is a type of compact disk. It can store a large amount of data like movies, software and large files. Output devices Devices that are used to display the processed information or output are known as output devices. Most of the output given by a computer is in the form of text, audio or video. Monitor, speaker and printer are some common examples of output devices. Software Applications and programs that help the computer system to perform any tasks are known as software. You can buy the fanciest car, but is it of any use if nobody knows how to drive it? No. Just like a car needs someone to drive it, a computer needs software. Computer hardware cannot function without software. You cannot touch or feel the software. You can only see the software running on the computer system. Computer software can be divided into system software and application software. System software Software that controls and manages the working of a computer is called system software. A computer system will not function properly without system software. It is pre-installed on the computer and acts as a base for other software. An example of system software is operating system. Operating system prepares the computer to run our commands and instructions. Without operating system, the computer cannot perform any function. Application software This type of software is designed to suit the needs of the user. Depending upon its usage, application software can be divided into two types, general purpose software and special purpose software. General purpose software It is the most popularly used application software, for example, Microsoft Word, Paint, etc. Special Purpose Software This type of software is created for specific purpose of the customers. For example, if a shop wants to computerize its billing system, they can get special software designed for this purpose. Similarly, hotels and airlines have special reservation systems according to their requirements.